it's me. And today we're gonna be watching another Darman video. This one might be a sad one. Keep your tissues close. Cause it's about a girl who won't accept her adopted sister. I don't understand why we have to share a room. It's not like she's my real sister. Honey, just because Sabrina is adopted doesn't mean she isn't your sister. Oh, this is gonna be good. Cause this girl, Sophia, usually plays the nice girl. Oh, how the tables have turned. Guess who's here? Oh, welcome home, honey. I am so happy to finally have you here. Thanks. I'm so happy to be here. Mm -hmm. Hi, you must be Delilah. Honestly, if I had to share a room with somebody, instantly annoyed. New baby coming into the household? Absolutely not. I'm the oldest, so I had to sit there while two of my brothers were being born and my sister. When I tell you I dreaded the arrival of each child after me, I wanted to be the favorite. Then I realized if I was an only child, I would be bored. So, uh, this is your new room. Um, you'll be sharing it with your sister, Delilah. She's not my sister. Well, she is now. That's so sad. Like the fact that she just says that like right in front of her. Like she came in all happy. Like I have a new family, I have a new sister. And she's like, I don't know you like that. Sabrina, Delilah, dinner's ready. Hi, honey. Hi. Wow. Whoa. This looks so good. Mm-hmm. I haven't had a home cooked meal in a while. Where should I sit? Anywhere you want. What are you doing? <clears throat> That's my seat. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. Of course you didn't know. You're not a part of this family. Uh, I'm only laughing because this is literally me. Anytime anybody comes over and sits in my spot at the dining table, I'm like, what are you doing? You see all those foot stains? Clearly my seat. That's not nice. Mm-hmm. It's okay. I'll just sit in this chair. So how was the food? It was so good, and the pie was really tasty. Oh, uh -huh. you're gonna have the last piece, honey. Really? Okay, thanks. Hey, I was gonna eat that. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. You can have it. Give it to me. I'll cut it in half, and you both can share. Thanks, Dad. I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to call you. It's okay. You can call me dad. And you can call me mom as well. Seriously, dad, why do I have to share? And for the record, he isn't your dad. Honey. And she isn't your mom. No, 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 no You're no, no, adopted. No, 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 You're never going to be a part of our family. Whoa! She took it way too far right there. Like, y'all really escalated it that much over a slice of pie. But also, I find this hilarious because this is kind of how I was when I was a child. I was never taught to share. I hated sharing. The concept didn't even exist. And when it came to food, oh, absolutely not. I lived in a family where I had to hide my food and leftovers. Otherwise, they would be eaten by somebody else. And when I call out everybody, who ate my pasta? Who did it? They don't even make eye contact. It wasn't me. <laughs> I can't believe you would treat Sabrina that way. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't just bring in some random girl here and expect me to treat her like she's my sister. We're not even related. Sweetheart, you don't have to be related to be family. Yes, you do. I'm your real daughter and she's just adopted. Okay, for real, can y'all be honest with me? If you had an adopted brother or sister, have you actually treated them like this? Cause I feel like this is like level 10 anger right here. Like mother bought her a PS5 and you got a Barbie for Christmas. Then this is how you act. <laughs> That's the level of anger I'm feeling. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. We just realized we raised the monster. <laughs> Honey, it's time we told you. <gasps> Tell me what. No! The truth. No! Say it ain't so! Y'all can't throw this plot twist stuff. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> you see, a long time ago, your father and I really wanted to have children. We tried for many years. But we were having a hard time getting pregnant. So we decided to go see a doctor. The doctor told us 
that because of some health issues, I wasn't able to have kids. Both of our dreams really felt like they had been destroyed. The doctor suggested something we never thought about, that we'd adopt a baby instead. Your dad and I thought about it and decided it was the best thing to do. So a few months later, we adopted a baby girl. It was the happiest day of our lives. Our dreams of becoming parents finally came true. I can't believe this. This you? You're telling me she was adopted this whole time and she likes sitting here at the head of the table. There, my mom and dad. Oh, wait till she finds out. This must have hit her like a truck. Look, I hate for you to find out this way. After you done rotisserie, your adopted sister, we'd like to inform you that you are in fact adopted. We didn't even say it yet. So you see, that baby we adopted was you. What? No, that, that can't be possible. I'm sorry, honey, but it's the truth. My whole life, I grew up thinking you were my parents. How come you didn't tell me? We wanted to tell you, but we just never knew the right time. And it broke our hearts to, to see the, how you were with Sabrina. So we had to tell you now. I can't believe this. <laughs> this whole time, you both have loved me so much that I never would have known. So I'm just like Sabrina. I feel so bad for how I treated her. I can't believe it. <laughs> This would actually be the ultimate troll if her parents just made this up on the spot so she would be nicer to her. <laughs> Evil indeed. Maybe you should go talk to her. Oh, I'm sorry. I know this is your room. I'll leave. Wait. I'm just like you. I'm just like you. You're just like me. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say, I'm really sorry for how I treated you. I was wrong about all the things that I said. I realize now that you really don't have to be related to be family. Do you think you could forgive me? Thank you. You have no idea how much that means to me. Of course I forgive you. To be honest, Delilah, all I ever wanted was a family. You have one now, and you will call me your sister. What do you say we go share that last piece of pie? I would love that. <laughs> ah! Oh my goodness, this was way too cute. <gasps> This was such a good, wholesome story. Wow. I really enjoyed that one, and I hope you guys did too. And if you guys want to check out Darman's other videos, I will link them in the description below. And if you guys enjoyed and want more, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.